Hey, it's For the Love Alaska, and so you've loaded in your new world, you have to select your character. Who do you pick? I recommend going through and actually trying each one of these characters, and if you've purchased the DLC, the DLC characters, just to see who you like and whose play style you enjoy. I main as Wart. I really enjoy Wart. I just fell in love with this character after watching others play on YouTube and on uh, Twitch, and it just it became the character for me, and I have played everybody at least once. Uh, I've gone back every time there's a rework. Uh, I recently played as Weber for a couple of days. Weber was a lot of fun, and definitely a different play style, but you play each character differently into their strengths uh, or their weaknesses. So. I'm going to just go through and talk a little bit about each one of the players. Again, this is my opinion, and yours is going to be different, but that's fine. That's what makes this game great. Uh, they didn't give us one character for everybody to play. They gave us quite a few, so you get to through, go through and pick the one that you want. So, Wilson. Uh, Wilson is your basic starting character. He enters with nothing. Um, he grows a magnificent beard, and he's kind of an all-around easy basic character um that's not bad but it's also not super good if you're just starting the game start as wilson uh he's a great way to go in and explore the game and you're not necessarily having to deal with something unique like some of the other characters have to deal with and i'll get into those a little bit later uh willow she's the fire starter uh she actually comes in with two items uh her lighter and her teddy bear uh Bernie is great. Um, he is a very protective bear, bear for nightmare monsters, and her lighter is a immediate light source, and I mean she can set the world on fire. Uh, neither of those items really called to me, and they weren't ones that I wanted to play. But I know a couple of Willow mains. Um, they are great players. Like it. If you see a Willow come into your world, don't immediately kick them out. Don't think that they're just going to start everything on fire. Um, there are people that enjoy playing every character. No one understand that. Uh, you've got Wolfgang, the strongman. He grows uh, <laughs> mighty on a full belly. Uh, this is a great character. Um, you do have a large hunger. You do have great strength and you have great sanity. Um, you are constantly feeding him as you're working. He is afraid of monsters and the dark. Uh, but if you have a never-ending supply of food, uh, Wolfgang can be somebody that can kind of go through and be very strong and have that power. Um, but I think his biggest disadvantage is he's got to eat quite a bit, and you have to feed him a lot. Uh, most of the other characters aren't going to have the same hunger that he has. You've got Wendy. Wendy has comes in, enters with her flower uh, that will summon her dead sister. Uh, her backstory uh, is really sad, <laughs> but they've got some great cinematics. I recommend looking at the clay videos for those. They're fantastic. Uh, Wendy is a great starting character. Once you're done playing Wilson, I think Wendy is a good one to go to. And the main reason I say that is it's nice to have her sister the ghost as a buffer because you can actually utilize her to help kill mobs and other other items within the game that are sometimes difficult for players to kind of start with sometimes when i start a world on my own i'll actually start as wendy and go through the whole world and clean out all of my spider dens i'll clean out all of my killer bees nest just so that they're cleaned out and done and i don't have to worry about them sometimes i'll even kill the pig huts that are randomly spread about in my dark forest just because once they're done and gone i don't have to worry about them and then i'll switch characters because i play on endless to be somebody else and then eventually end at work you've got wx 78 uh wx is a very fun character to play uh his biggest difficult uh problem is rain um you can upgrade him with gears he can actually get upwards of 400 health i believe which is great um but you do have to eat i think 15 gears to get him there um he's not a picky eater he will eat uh foods that are close to spoiling and doesn't have the same negative effects on him as it does others 
Uh, fun character. If you turn off rain and don't get him wet, uh, he's a great character. He can also be overcharged with lightning, uh, which will make him faster, run, run faster, run harder, run stronger, uh, and can be fun. Uh, I played WX for quite a while uh, after I played through Wilson on regular Don't Starve. Uh, we've got Wigfrid. Wigfrid is the performing artist. Uh, Wigfrid is a fantastic character. When you are practicing learning how to kite, when you are practicing uh, fighting mobs and going through and, you know, just practicing at the game but want to kind of battle and kind of take that next step and start defeating bosses, um, she she can only eat meat. That's her biggest uh, disadvantage. So you are constantly trying to have to battle and fight to make sure that you have that meat source, but you're absorbing power from your fallen foes. Uh, you're excelling in battle, but definitely worth it. She can also make the awesome helms and battle spears. The battle spears you might use early game and then you might switch over to a ham bat or something else. Um, you might do that even quicker. Uh, than most if you have a Wigfrid in your world, but Wigfrid is a very fun character and more forgiving when struck by a boss just because you can absorb some of their health while hitting them. So highly recommend. Uh, if you want to follow or watch some players, you'll see that there are a lot of Wigfrid players on Twitch um, and other platforms because it's a great character to play. Uh, you have Maxwell, one of the only characters that don't that doesn't have a W name? What's up with that? Come on, Maxwell. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, if you haven't played Don't Starve, Maxwell's the the, the final boss. Uh, so, go through. Oh, hey, that M upside down is a W. Oh, clever. Uh, Maxwell's the puppet master. Um, he can actually summon uh, shadows of himself to help you mine, to help you cut down trees. Um, and to help you dig. He is definitely a good character if you want to kind of get tasks done without having to feed, but you're still feeding his monster or his shadow monsters with some shadow fuel, which I feel is a lot more costly than feeding merms, seeds, or pigs food. Uh, you have Wes, the best character in the game. Um, yep, yeah, we're just going to move along from there. We have Woody. Uh, Woody starts with his axe. The best thing about Woody... Uh, is he can chop down trees faster. Uh, the disadvantages for Woody is uh, he suffers from the curse of the werebeaver. So if you chop down too many trees, uh, you can become a werebeaver. He also now becomes a weremoose and a weremoose, or a weregoose, uh, which those can actually be utilized very effectively. I had never thought about it until another player had told me, but becoming the weregoose, you can actually go run out on the water, find Lunar where it's at so you're not constantly on a boat searching and come back. Um, it makes it really easy to cover ground quickly and effectively uh, within your first full moon. Wickerbottom, the librarian, uh, she enters with some papyrus. Uh, she has self-published books, suffers from insomnia. Uh, she's a creepy character. If you watch her at night, her eyes are always open. Um, has a delicate stomach. But she already knows things, so she actually, by default, can build things that Wilson can't. Uh, she has the basic science, she, my, science machine stuff she can build without even having to learn it. Uh, which is really kind of convenient if you wanted to make a backpack right away. You've got Weber. Uh, Weber is one of the monster characters that you got to try and play in Don't Starve, but has been a lot of fun and with his newest update has actually had some new added features and things um, added. You can actually get a full spider army to follow you now. Uh, they did not add Weber being able to ride the Spider Queen. It would have gone too slow anyway. It would have been fun to see, though. Uh, we will see that animation at some point. <laughs> but Weber can be a lot of fun. Disadvantages, Weber is a monster character, so uh, some of your natural, you know, good intending people like the pigs or the rabbits will automatically attack towards Weber. Uh, Winona. Winona is a handy woman. Uh, she can actually build catapults. Typically after I switch from Wendy, I'll switch over to Winona. 
uh, just so I can build catapults around Bee Queen because then I can solo Bee Queen if I need to later on in game to get more royal jelly for jelly beans. Uh, her disadvantage as she's building things, she's losing her hunger at a rapid rate, but she does have some amazing gadgetry tree uh, that's fun to build and play with. You've got Warly. Uh, Warly actually came from the shipwrecked uh, update. Warly is a lot of fun. You can cook a lot of really interesting recipes. He comes with a portable crock pot, a potato, and garlic. Uh, the disadvantage for Warly, and the reason I think a lot of players struggle early game, is if you don't know any of the recipes, he can only eat the same recipe two times, I believe, before he can't eat it again until you've eaten something different. So, if you know recipes, great. If you don't know recipes and it's your first time playing the game, I don't recommend starting as Warly because it will be difficult for you to kind of adapt and learn. Uh, Warly is a great late game character because you've probably by this time learned all the recipes and then you have all these recipes that will actually enhance your power and skills uh, throughout the game in boss fights. Uh, War Talks. Wartox was another monster character that was added to Don't Starve Together. Uh, he is the imp. Uh, what's really cool about Wartox is he gains the souls of his fallen enemies. He can use this as food, he can use this as health, and he can also use this as a... Uh, similar to a telepoof and cross short distances uh, quickly and in, in, in an instant. Uh, Wartox is another character that is immediately attacked on site by pigs uh, and so you have the disadvantage just like Weber of not being able to feed pigs to have them do your work for you. You have Wormwood. Uh, he's a plant. He's great. <laughs> Wormwood is a lot of fun uh, to play. You can actually pick up seeds and plant them anywhere. Uh, we have a couple of friends that play in my world that will pick up seeds immediately plant them because it helps uh, give him sanity and then you know, we come across these plants later on in the game and call them road snacks because they're just typically right off the road. It's really nice because sometimes you can get a dragon fruit just running along the road and you didn't have to even garden for it. Uh, the disadvantages for Wormwood is you're not going to be chopping down that forest. You're not going to be hurting any of these plants because it hurts your sanity and actually, it, you know, will lower your ability. But Wormwoods are really great if you enjoy gardening, if you want to be the person that's planting all the crops and doing all the things, even planting all the trees, those will give you sanity boost. Uh, plays a Wormwood. It's a great supporting character uh, within the game. Um, for all of these characters, I feel a lot of them are similar to other games that we've all played. So I think Wormwood would be your, one of your supporting characters. You've got your Barbarian. Um, you've got your Mages. You've got, you've got everybody else in here. Uh, just like other games, and Wormwood is definitely a great supporting character to play with other players. Um, let's go down to the last two over here. We've got Walter. We've got the Boy Scout. Uh, he has his trusted uh, dog with him, uh, which is really cute. Has a four-legged friend. Allergic to bees. Um, has no interest in fashion. He is a great character. Um, he is the only range attacker other than Wendy uh, with her sister that um, does it effectively. He actually has a slingshot. You can make pellets for him. All of the pellets can do different things. Uh, he can tell campfire stories at, at the night to help raise people's sanity, which are a lot of fun. Uh, I definitely recommend Experience Walter. The first time I played Walter, I think I was hit by a bee and died within a day. Um, I did not do too well, but again, I've gotten better with him as I've played. Um, just wasn't the character style that I enjoyed and liked. Uh, we have Wart, uh, our swamp dweller. Uh, Wart is a lot of fun, is at home in the swamp, uh, has a big time, you know, chance to build a Merm King. Having a Wart in your world can be very convenient if you do want to base near the swamp or have merms available on hand if wart builds a merm king and feeds the merm king all merms become de would to all other players in the game which is a huge advantage for people who like to build in the swamp uh, the disadvantages for wart just like 
Weber, and War Talks. Uh, Wart cannot give trinkets to Pig King. Weber can, actually. I know War Talks can't, but Weber can uh, at night, uh, only in the twilight. But Wart cannot, so you can pick up all the trinkets in the world, but you'll need friends to trade with the Pig King for you. Uh, Wart is also a vegetarian, which in this game isn't too bad. There are seeds, there's berries, there's carrots, there's things all over. Um, you can use eggs in recipes that you use with a crock pot, but you can't necessarily eat eggs straight. Um, and that's I. It, that was the only disadvantage, and I was like, "Oh, that's really easy. I could I could totally do that." So I started playing as Wart and loved it. Um, just because I know I skipped over Wes. Uh, Wes is, as you can see, the lowest health, the lowest hunger, the lowest sanity. Odds of survival are none. Uh, he's a mime. He can't talk. He plays with balloons. Uh, if you want to play this game on hard, play as Wes. If you want to have a survival world and see who can live the longest, you should all play as Wes. Uh, Wes can make some cool things with the balloons. Um, he got a recent update on April Fools. Uh, he is somebody that you should experience once, but I would move along after that and find who that you like to play afterwards. Um, random is another great way uh, to just start it out and try see what happens but i do recommend go through and play each character see who you survive the longest with see who you enjoy the most um, it's going to be a different experience every time uh, and it's going to be a different experience even if you're playing with other players in the world uh, when i play as wart i do really well when i have another player because they can turn in all the trinkets for me um, i actually really enjoy being a, a wart with a wigfried uh, just for the sole fact I love getting her helms built for me. Uh, I will collect all the trinkets all day, and if they trade me for helms, it works out perfectly. But there are definitely a lot of combinations that you can go through uh, and play as. And if you're playing on Endless, you can actually switch characters uh, with the sister, with, you know, a whole other project that you can learn about later on. Uh, that's all I have today. Uh, we're going to get started, and we're going to go in and see what we can do. All right, have a great day. Don't forget, like, follow, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.